Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. So today we've got a really exciting video for you about the new Google Drive which we just got on our account. So some of you may have already explored the new Google Drive but for those of you who haven't this video is going to go through some of the major changes from the old Google Drive to the new Google Drive. Right away you can tell that the home page of Drive is very different. Folders you can see are stacked at the very top of your Google Drive with the files coming in down below. First of all, let's take a look at the left hand side of our screen. So the create menu that was found in Google Drive has been replaced by this new icon here. So when you click on that, it's a much smaller window that pops up and you have the option to create a new folder, upload a file, upload a folder, and then create one of the Google Drive files. So docs, sheets, and slides, and then more here. You can create another Google file as well as your drive enabled apps. Below that, the shared with me section has been replaced by the incoming section. So if we open that up here, you can see this is very different. It used to look exactly like the My Drive section, but it's definitely much different here. So the way of adding a file to your Google Drive is a lot more simple. You can just click this Add to My Drive icon. And from there, we can just elect to have it added to our drive in general, or we can move it to a specific folder. Going back into my drive, there's a few things here that I really like and the first has to do with leaving the activity view option on. So if I click on a file and then select the view details button here, you'll see this view details section and activity section here. And it's great because once you click it, it'll remain on. So as I switch between my other files, I can quickly see a preview of all the files that I go through and it'll stay on while you're in Google Drive so it's definitely a, an improved preview view for your files. Back at the top of your screen you'll notice that the toolbar up here is slightly different and a really cool feature that I like is this new show link option so this just pulls up the shared link for your file so previously you had to go into the share option to get this link but now this link is easily accessible right here, so if you want to just copy it and send it to someone else, it's really easy to do. The search menu in the new Google Drive is also slightly different, so you can just search here in this bar, or you can click the drop down and it allows you to narrow down your files. This is slightly different, it's a lot less cluttered than before, so I can say spreadsheets opens with any of these options here, I'll just say sheets for now and is owned by me. So this will return all the spreadsheets that I own. And you can see here that this view details is still toggled on, which I really like. And the last feature that I really like is selecting multiple files and performing an action in the new Google Drive is a lot easier. So from this view here, I can just drag and select multiple files just like you would on your desktop. And then I can right click and perform one of these actions here or I can go over to my drive, open that up, and drag these files and add them to a folder. So that process is definitely a lot easier and that's a huge improvement in this version of Google Drive. So that's just a really quick look at the new Google Drive. I think you'll also notice that taking actions in Google Drive are a lot faster and it's just a lot better to look at. So there's a lot of nice changes to see here and there's plenty more that we couldn't cover in such a short video, but you can find a few other changes below this video. So if you have any questions about the Google Drive changes in the new Google Drive interface, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.